came back, um, I was posted into the department uh, where I was involved with uh, honours and awards and uh, I was also uh, the uh, contact point for all the Air Force chaplains. So, you know, I, I got to meet quite, quite a lot of different sorts of people. Then uh, I was posted to Melbourne and then I was selected to do a language course and I did uh, two years as the Assistant Defence and Air Attaché in Jakarta. Uh, came back, did Staff College, and then I was posted into Joint Exercise Planning. Uh, no, I was after that, I uh, came back, and I did the Amberley. I did three years at Amberley. Uh, I ended up as the CO of the Admin Support Squadron, which had a, an unfortunate acronym, COS. But the, you, know, you, you learned to ride with that. Uh, one thing I got from Nine Squadron was uh, I got a, a, a nameplate which had the dinosaur. That was because of my age. Uh, and also I, I, got, uh, I had a problem with my eye and they sent me off to Long Bin. Uh, and when I came back, the, uh, the crew had uh, got an eye patch and paste, painted an eye on it for me. So yeah, little things like that, you know, that, that you remember. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the, yes, I was, uh, when I came back, I was at Ambley. I was the admin, admin staff officer there. Uh, I also, back, backtracking uh, when I was in the department, I was uh, the team leader for a uh, uh, six weeks overseas trip uh, to America and Europe and UK uh, dealing with micrographics. At that stage we were looking at getting the paper technical publications into some form of, you know, micrographics as it was then. We hadn't gone on to computers. Uh, so I, had, I was involved with that. Uh, gave a presentation to the Chief of Air Force Technical Services uh, but then computers came in and that overtook it and, and of course we now, everything's all done on computer. Uh, and the guys take a, a, a laptop out to the aircraft and instead of taking a great big, big book. So I think it's, it's a good idea. Yeah. I was uh, then involved with uh, Expo 88. I was selected as the uh, Air Force Liaison Officer for Expo. So as well as being CEO of the Admin Squadron, uh, I also had to spend time in at Expo. And it's amazing how many friends you suddenly found you had. S senior officers as well, yeah, wanting to you know, come up and uh, have a special trip into Expo. I, th I think it was Expo 88 where the Ex Squadron did a demonstration on the river. Yes, the yes they would have, yeah. that's right. And uh, one squadron had the, the F-111 simulator in, uh, in at Expo, so that was good. Yeah, yeah. So I was involved with that. Uh, involved with the uh, Australia Pavilion. So uh, I don't think there's much else. Uh, oh yes, then when I was eventually posted, uh, after Ambly, I was posted to Joint Exercise Planning which was uh, Navy, Army, Air Force. And our, this was fine from my point of view because I had Navy background, I had Air Force background, and I'd had a lot of liaison with the Army. So uh, the, uh, the boss I had initially was very good. Uh, then uh, I was uh, told to organise all the VIP visits to uh, Kangaroo 89 up in Darwin. So, Were you based in Canberra for that? I was based in Canberra. Yeah. I spent a lot of time with the Americans uh, flying up in their uh, aircraft from Canberra. Uh, I was given free reign by my boss. He said, uh, your task is to fix it. He said, I don't want to know, just fix it. So I did. Uh, and we had all the VIPs come and uh, um, looked after them, 
organised the C-130s up and back. And then uh, I was then posted sideways in JEPS to be the uh, um, the senior amongst the seniors, the senior uh, coordinator for the Joint Exercise Planning, uh, where I had other wing commanders, same rank as me, but my boss said, you're responsible for the whole lot. Right, so you had seniority because of your experience and age? Well, that's right, and, and my, I think my background as well with the tri basic tri-service. Uh, and then I was posted from there to Townsville. That was the last posting, and then uh, back to uh, Caloundra to uh, retire. Well, came back to Amberley and then retired. What did you do in Townsville? I was uh, the staff officer admin for the headquarters operations support group. Uh, my posting, when, I, when the posting came out, I, I was supposed to be also the public relations officer because I'd done that for three years at Amberley. I was also the public relations officer. Um, but then by the time I got up there, they had changed that and given that to somebody else. So the, the last posting wasn't as satisfactory as what I had hoped. But that's okay. That's the way it goes.